What's up, pilots? Pilot83 here. Let's do a dark and cold startup tutorial in the P38 Lima Lightning. If y'all are like me, I know a lot of y'all probably had a lot of issue trying to start up this plane. And then y'all probably like me got real frustrated, went on YouTube, looked at a lot of videos, and everything their plane was doing in the startup process, your plane was not doing. And that is because, come to find out, when they did the update for the plane, they actually made it more realistic in the starting process. So it's actually different, and I could not find an actual video of, of how to actually do it the correct way, because the checklist wasn't making full sense to me. But, my good buddy Gus told me what to do, and I am here to share with y'all a little bit of this very helpful info. I know a lot of y'all always ask about where is this airport what is this airport I'm always at with the hot girl and the Mustang this is Jeremiah Denton this is about an hour from where I live but this is a add-on for the airport I think it's like seven bucks maybe cheaper than that now but uh yeah this is where I do a lot of my testing great little airport so let's go ahead and get in our flying Dutchman here and let me show you how I get this baby started. We're not going to use the checklist here. I'm going to show you what I do. Uh, I know y'all are probably more eager just to get this plane going and take it off. And basically what I do is pretty much the exact checklist of what you need to do. It might be a little bit out of order. But like I said, I always recommend everybody learn the checklist. You can go down to the... Uh, well, you can go up here for one, but you can also go up here to the tablet. Look at your checklist here. See everything you need to see. All right, so let's go ahead and start doing some stuff. So first things first, we need to close this canopy. Then we need to lock it. We don't have to shut our windows yet, but we will. Also, it will make it a lot easier for you to go ahead and remove this yoke out of your way. Now, come back here. Well, first make sure your parking brake's on, but that's already defaultly on in in the sim. At least on Xbox it is. But always good to check just for, you know, real life realism. So come down here, we're going to turn on our left and right fuel pump. We can also turn on our emergency fuel pumps. We do not have to turn those on. That's more when you're, say, above 10,000 feet and so forth. It's not necessary to start this plane to have those switched on. Then, if these are not already in reserve tank, which sometimes I see that they are, sometimes they are not, you want to go ahead and make sure that these are both in reserve tank for your left and right. Okay, from that point there, let's go ahead, hit battery. We don't have to open up the coolant flaps here, but I like to do it anyway. Go ahead, go to our mag magnetos, left and right, turn them to both position. See left, right, and both. Then in the middle, there's a master ignition switch. Push that up. Okay. Go ahead and turn on our generators. At this point here, we can turn on uh, wing lights, tail lights. All right, so this is where things start getting a little tricky. This is where all the issues are happening. I had some huge issues. So now let's go ahead, push our mixture all the way up. Push our prop all the way up. Just snap our throttles. Pretty much right there between the open and close position. All right. Now, it's where things get the most confusing. So right here we have a left and right primer and dilute switch. You pull it down to prime your left and right engine and push it up to dilute it. So to prime it we're going to hold it down between two to four seconds. I do three. If you flood your carburetor, your, your engine, you will have to open your throttle fully and wait up to 10 minutes to try it again for it to start. 
So, can be a pain, but I do appreciate the realism. So let's go ahead and do this. Here we go. So I'm doing the left engine right here. So I'm going to pull it down. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Let it go. All right. Now, the even trickier part. So left and right switch here. Everything for the left engine is done by pushing up on both. Energize here. Engage engine here. Both go up. Right engine is the opposite. Energize down, engage down. So let's see if we can get this first try. So up, we'll start to hear energizing. Wait till it's full, very fast. Whoo, there we go, first try on that one. We now have left engine working now right edged and I'll be honest with y'all there's a lot of times where I get one to start no problem and then the other one big pain in the butt but let's see if we can do it okay I learned the three Mississippi trick is to work very well so prime pull it down one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi let it go now we're going to pull these down Instead of up, because it's just right edged. So now, energize down. Quickly down. Did I catch it? Let's try it again. Alright, I'm going to give it about one more second of primer there, just in case we'll try it one more time. I think I was too slow. Here we go, one more time, one more time. Ah, oh, wow, there it goes. All right. That there is how we do it. It can be a pain in the butt. You do not want to hold that primer too long. So I did a total of four seconds. And the right one is a little bit trouble, but it came. Every now and then I'll get them both to work at the same time. For, or, or not same time, but first try. But normally one gives you a little trouble. But hey, that was good. So that's how you do that. From there, we want to go ahead, roll up our windows. All right, and you're good to go. And just from that point on, guys, uh, look at your checklist. Follow that. Pretty simple to read. Uh, great plane. Um, I want to share this information with y'all because I know many people are having so much trouble learning how to start this plane as I had, like I said, great trouble on learning how to start this plane. So I love teaching y'all these new things, make sure that everybody can enjoy the plane and make y'all feel really good when y'all get this plane to start that first time. You feel so good about yourself. But uh, as always, guys, I am Pilot83. Until next time, guys, happy flying out there, fly together, stand together. See y'all guys in the skies. Don't forget to check out the tablet in this plane. I'll have another video coming out showing you how to work the Garmin with the, alongside with the autopilot of this plane and how to follow the flight route if you're not sure on how to do it. Until next time, guys. Peace. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. 
Until next time, guys, see you in the air.